Right now, we'd like to welcome on our next guest, one of our uh, favorites from Indiana, Walkerton, Indiana, as a matter of fact. Uh, she is a frequent guest here on Red's Room, as well as Christian Media Spotlight. Uh, she has a number of great songs. Her story starts as a toddler who had been found in an orphanage by an American man. He came to the country of Costa Rica looking for a child to adopt. He had no idea what he was getting himself into when he found Carmen. The doctors told him he, uh, that she would not be a good candidate because she had so many issues. She was severely malnourished from a lack of a healthy diet. She couldn't even walk and was already showing signs of distrust. The chances that she would ever graduate high school or get married would probably never happen. But despite all the things that she had going against her, she, he adopted her anyway. And look at her now. Uh, she, is, she sings. She performs. She did graduate she did get married all of that um she had four girls uh who are all grown up now uh she says the songs i write are of hope and peace does she still struggle with depression sometimes but i don't try to pretend it or hide it or that it doesn't exist i continually pray and ask god for help in the right moment it always comes along like the help that came for that young baby from costa rica years ago ah oh, amen to that please welcome our guest here on the program, Carmen Mills. Carmen, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome uh, tonight to Red's Room. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hi. Great to have you with us on Red's Room tonight. Uh, what are some of the things uh, musically that you've been up to since we've last caught up with you? Oh, wow. Okay. So I was signed with uh, TMA Management, which is pretty exciting. Um, I'm going to be going on tour this summer with uh, two other bands. I, I think you've had them on Christian Media Spotlight, um, ATU, All Together United. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, Right Hand Shade is the other band. So. Oh, man. I know. It's, it's, it's exciting and scary all wrapped up in one, but, you know, I've been been willing and waiting to do this for a long time so it's like yes i am i'm so glad that <laughs> opportunities have opened up for you to land on such a tour alongside altogether united right hand shade my goodness gracious um yeah. looking forward to that spring and summer tour hopefully you can catch that wherever they perform this summer uh what else is new with you as of late well um <laughs> i've been uh working on bass guitar a lot lately i've trying to force myself to learn how to play it. You um, have done more with that. Okay. I, I have. Um, I actually got and played uh, some songs the other night. Mamma Mia from ABBA or the movie ABBA. <laughs> so I, was, I know. The, played the, the Mamma Mia song on that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The driving bass part on that. So that's kind of fun for me. Um, you know, my husband plays bass, by the way. So, so I, he's, my, has he shown you a few a few tricks along the way then is your you know <laughs> uh, yeah yeah he has but <laughs> I I have more time to practice to practice than he does right that's, now that's, so that's I have true. a goal <laughs> <laughs> my goal Glad is you... to beat Rob <laughs> I'm gonna beat Rob Mills <laughs> oh oh hear that rob yeah she has a goal to uh be better at bass guitar eventually than you are i i like that you're broadening your horizons and that you're challenging yourself uh from a musical standpoint i i love it um now it's a friendly challenge though <laughs> it's, a, it's a friendly challenge all in love yes uh oh, you sent over a um a, re a recorded set we want to make sure we had the best sound possible for you so we we had a pre-recorded set uh for you can you tell us um a couple about a couple of songs that we're about to hear uh on this set tonight sure um the first song you're going to hear is called how many times and um that's basically talking about how like you know you just get to this point where you're you know you feel like you're always apologizing for your past and i mean i know that god says that when you ask for forgiveness that it's done and it's finished yeah. so he doesn't remember it anymore it's wiped away right um, but sometimes we have a tendency to pick it back up, you know, and, yeah, and that's true. I, yeah, I know, I know for me personally, I carried a lot of guilt for a lot of years and there was a time where I didn't even really realize that that's what I was doing, you know, that, so which kind of, uh, spilled into depression a little bit because of carrying my past guilt and stuff and some of it wasn't really even my fault 
that's a whole nother topic. But so that's what this song is about. It's just about knowing that um, you don't have to keep paying for your past. But it's 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 more of a question. I mean, and it's kind of like because I want people. It, it is a Christian song, but I also I wanted it to be kind of so people could identify all over the world with it that maybe don't necessarily um, they haven't heard the message of Christ yet. But if yes. they hear this question, and then maybe if they look into it, they'll get some answers. So that's the song, How Many Times? That's the first one. I love that. Um, and I, I know that uh, I Look to You is on there because I know we definitely are in a time of with everything going on, Joseph. It's like, what is happening, you know? And um, But again, we as Christians, we know what's happening. And, and I mean, some of this stuff can be scary, but really not that surprising right i mean these things yeah. do have to come to to play yeah. you know before the lord's return so so that's kind of like for me i look to you as um that's where i'm looking through all of this stuff that's going on right now you know the sicknesses the the weathers the, the wars the rumors of wars just everything you know yeah so Try not to get political. I'm being careful. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, let's see. And then I'm I oh cry with people. That will be the final song on there. And that is uh, definitely my heart's cry for um, right now the people of Ukraine, you know, and what they're going through. <clears throat> yes. um, that song was originally written. I had a friend from uh, Uganda who had. Uh, written to me and said, you know, he said, Carmen, please pray for us. Um, they had a bunch of children that were going to be removed from the land they were on and they needed to raise the money. And, you know, they, they didn't know where these children were going to go and they didn't know how they were going to feed them. And I just remember it was like three in the morning. I, I was sitting up in bed and I'm thinking, you know, Jesus, what are we going to, what, what, what do we do? What do these people do? And I know they're crying out to you, and the words just kind of flooded over me. Yeah. Jesus, you yeah. know, who you could save. And so that's cry of the people. So. Fantastic. We're looking forward. I think Brad's just about yeah. ready to uh, okay. play that set for us. Uh, one question before we get into that. Sure. Uh, Kath, Kathleen uh, over Facebook has a question. She says, I just started guitar lessons. Any advice for sore fingertips? <laughs> oh, girl, I'm still learning. Um, <laughs> for me, <laughs> for me personally, to, to get the muscle memory, you keep doing the same thing. But um, like the first time I tried to play for an hour straight, because I'm like, I'm going to learn this. And then I ended up getting blisters all over my fingers. So I've, I've been limiting it to like 20 minutes, 25 minutes a day, because by, you know, that way the fingers have a chance to heal. That's what my there husband you does. So. <laughs> there you go. Good advice. Good advice. Yeah. Red, are you ready on your end? If so, let's uh, play that to great set from Carmen Mills right here on the Saturday edition of Red's Room. Mm -hmm.
just want to say thank you so much, Red Room, Red's Room, for having me today and allowing me to be a part of this ministry. And my hope and prayer is that these songs will um, reach someone who maybe is feeling alone or maybe you feel like you've done things that you just can't come back from, but you can. God loves you. You can look to him. He is our strength and ever-present help in the time of trouble. Um, this next song I'm going to do is called Cry of the People. And right now I, I'm really thinking of the people in Ukraine. And I can only imagine that this might be their prayer. Um, and this is the prayers of Christians around the world. people over in Ukraine. Please be with them, God. Draw near to them. And the people in Russia who don't necessarily want to fight, Lord, we pray for them too. All this we give you the praise and the glory for. Amen.
Amen. Carmen Mills with a great set right here on Red's Room. So good. Uh, it's so great of you to dedicate that song to that last one to Ukraine and also recognize the people that are um, not wanting to necessarily fight, but just try to bring love and peace in this in the situation who are in Russia right now. And so thank you for doing that. And I also want to touch on as well. Did you ever think when you wrote, because that's what it seems like uh, at this point, did you ever think when you wrote, I look to you, that it would be somewhat of a signature anthem for you? Because it seems like that's what it's become for you. It's one of your signature songs over the years. Did you have any idea when you wrote it that that's what that one would become uh, for you musically? No, not really. Um, you know, um, to you? no, Joseph. <laughs> I mean, it, it is, it is my anthem. It's, it's our anthem, you know what I mean? Because again, like I said, um, when that song first came out to radio, they were having all that flooding. And I remember, you know, thinking about that and like when the waters rise and I was watching all these people that were like, you know, they were losing their homes and, and, and water was everywhere. And, you know, and it was like, it almost gave me chills and it's like, you know, because amidst all that, where do we lift our eyes to up, you know, and, uh, but no, never in a million years did I think that. I just, I just know that God has given me a calling since I was very young. Yeah. And even though naturally I'm a pretty shy person and to me talking is absolutely terrifying, <laughs> um, but I just, I just want to use the music that he's put in my heart to touch, you know, as many people hope, like you said, give people hope. Yeah. Well, we are so thankful that uh, you are, uh, that you've, you've come out of your shell, that you've, <laughs> uh, that you've followed and uh, been in obedience to your gifts uh, and just have come up with great songs. And the Lord is certainly blessing you as a result with so many opportunities that are coming forth. It's, uh, You've been on our platform, I think, for over two years now, actually, since you've been almost with Night of Up since the very beginning. And yeah. it's just been really fun just in those last two years, just following your musical mm -hmm. journey and just seeing you blossom and get opportunity after opportunity. Um, it's just great to see um, that just come to life for you in the last few years. So it's been great playing a small part of it. And uh, so thank you for what you do. Um, for anyone uh, who may be on here, who may be where you are, who wants to pursue that musical gifting, who wants to take it to the next level, is there a piece of advice that you give to those uh, independent artists who are watching right now, who are uh, wondering, you know, how do mm -hmm. I hone it? How do I hone in my craft? How do I hone in my gifting? Um, don't give up, first of all, you know. That would be my biggest piece of advice is, um, I mean, I had to keep knocking at doors and I've been doing this for quite a while and um, I just kept knocking and finally somebody said, okay, you know, and I also think too, it's a lot of it's the Lord's timing, you know, because when I was younger, um, I mean, I was singing at church and, you know, local places, but it just kind of seemed like doors weren't opening and I, I was in the desert for quite a while, you know. Like, okay, Lord, when's this going to happen? And I, I just think that sometimes we have to be in the desert first when, when it comes to our ministry and we have things that we have to That's work true. on and grow, yeah. right? So like, I know for me, I was there for a long time and um, I think it's like being very patient. Um, my favorite uh, scripture is, here it's on my arm, Hebrews 11, 1. Uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that is my all-time favorite scripture because I believe yeah. this was supposed to happen. I just didn't know when. But yeah, so my, yeah don't give up. Mm. If, if you, lo you love yeah. the Lord, and he's given you a talent, you need to use it, right? And yeah. I, I've been truly blessed. Like I was listening to the last group and I was over here just worshiping with them. So, yeah. 
that's what these nights are all about, you know, uh, just gathering mm -hmm. together here in fellowship and just, you know, fellow artists are on here just worshiping along with uh, other artists and just being supportive. That's, that's what we're all about here. Uh, we're yeah. praising God one concert at a time. And it, it's <laughs> yeah. here to not only bless the viewers that are out here, it's, it's out here to bless the artists too. Um, and uh Praven all the way I think watching us from Pravin's watching us from India I do believe he's joining us tonight the awesome Carmen Mills says Josh he's watching he's watching tonight um Lisa says hey everyone uh I'm, I'm driving but wanted to say hello have a great night so she's watching at least listening in tonight to the mm -hmm. proceedings thank you everybody for tuning in tonight Carmen Mills is here with us for those that want to uh find out more about uh, what you've got going on if they can stay in touch with you as far as your music releases go that tour that's coming up i'm sure we'll find out more details soon where can okay. they connect up with you on the socials and things like that okay well you can go to my webpage, page um, carmenmillsmusic.com all in small letters not capitals um, you can go to carmen mills music on facebook or carmen mills music on instagram Twitter. I just started a TikTok, but it's not. It's yeah. You can, you can find me on TikTok. You you um, entered the land of TikTok. <laughs> was was this something that was your idea, or was this one of your uh, daughter's ideas, perhaps? Actually, um, uh, she's an artist that helped me work on the Christmas song. Oh, oh, uh, uh, Crystal. Oh, Crystal. I did. She okay. It All was right. Crystal's idea. She said, "Have you done TikTok?" I'm like. No, I wasn't really ready to try that, but I have tried it. And just, just so you know, I did make two cat videos on there too, because you know. So okay. All right. It's well. not all serious. I'm sorry. It's you know, <laughs> Harold, my cat. He's he's on TikTok too with me. So um, <laughs> did I miss anything? Oh, and LinkedIn. I'm also on there. <laughs> we go from TikTok to LinkedIn. Yes. Just so you all are aware, unless one of my program consultants wants to take on TikTok, it ain't happening anytime soon. Just to let everybody know, uh, <laughs> I'm 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 try, It's I don't know how people have enough time in a day, especially have, if they have side jobs keeping up with all these Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn and Twitter and Snapchat and TikTok. I was like, how? That's what I loved about my old phone. To be honest, is you can post to like Facebook and Instagram simultaneously. So it's yeah. like less effort. So you didn't have to go into each one. So it's like, I don't know how people have enough time in the day to update all these. I mean, it's like, it'd be like a full-time job just to keep all your eight, 10 social accounts updated. I mean, my word. I mean, you, you, need, you, need, you, need a, you need a social media like manager for that. Let me tell you. Um, if you know of anybody, I would love someone to manage my socials because according to my kids, they, they were laughing at me because no, like I said, I no. put, they're always laughing at me but i put, <laughs> i put harold my cat i did a tiktok of him you know he's just so adorable why not and, um, i mean why not <laughs> the girls are like really mom really I guess I think people don't always want to see me on video so I had to spruce it up a little bit I'm, I don't know I'm, I'm glad you're keeping that reputation up with your kids though I mean at least <laughs> at least it's intact I mean you know it, it wouldn't be a parent-child relationship otherwise you know if we didn't do stuff that makes them go mom dad oh you know, I put I put the Christmas leggings away yesterday finally the christmas you did? oh you did yeah yesterday finally it was March, <laughs> so i thought well okay it's time it's, it's smart yeah <laughs> well. so now i'm looking for saint patrick's leggings if i can find them but there we go any anybody has any uh any leads on <laughs> green uh leggings or shamrock or something send them carmen's way uh there you go how carmen, carmen can torture her children right how i, <laughs> how I embarrass my daughters <laughs> hey i mean uh, that's, that's what it's about right i mean yeah that's what it's all about <laughs> you know pretty soon we'll be heading towards uh summer and then we got to get like red white and blue ones or something uh, yeah for fourth of july and i know we're missing a holiday easter so, so, sorry carmen's kids i'm probably not helping now am i no probably not uh, <laughs> oh they know uh, about you they know about you joe <laughs> <I do? laughs> 
I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but uh, <laughs> we'll go with it. <laughs> It's fun. It's so fun. So. Oh, Carmen, thank you so much for being here. It's great to have you with us here on Red's Room. Always uh, great to, to have the pleasure of your company. Uh, much <laughs> continued success to you uh, personally and professionally. Many continued blessings and opportunity headed your way. And thank you, Carmen, for being with us here on Red's Room tonight. God bless you, Joseph. You as well, Carmen.